Am I in shot? You're in shot. Right. Uh, back at down at SG Styling this morning. Uh, Stephen Reiner upstairs, working away, and a bit of progress, isn't there, since last week? Yeah. They've done yeah. really, really nice. They've put the, what did you call it? The flight panel. The flight panel. <laughs> yeah. They've put the flight panel in. That's all done nicely. And then they've also done, they've just started doing the sides and get the stitch in there and how it goes around this corner as well. I don't know if you can catch it as it goes around that corner. That'll be a bit hard to see that. Looks really, really nice. So they're cracking on with it. We've come down this morning because we've got an issue with the windscreen. Um, We've just tried the windscreen in, haven't we? And it's, we can get it in because we, when we did the roll bar, the roll bar is tight against the window post. And because obviously we've got the headlining material and the leather, there's no gap there now, is there for the rubber? No. And after last attempt of getting the windscreen in, it was, we did like that, didn't no, we? we didn't, the, we didn't like all them. All the noises, noises and everything. And it's a laminated windscreen. It's an original windscreen. If it goes pop, then we are in big trouble. What we've done is we've took, we, this is one of the, this is an original rubber as well. And what we've found is on the, I cut, don't look at that bit yet, but oh. on the original rubber, as you can see, it's perished, it, it's fallen apart anyway. So when it was gonna go in, you might have seen some of the rubber and we, I don't like that because they've finished this, haven't they? The headlining Inside material. The is all finished. Inside. Yeah, it's all nicely finished. And to wrap the leather around there or wrap the rubber around, I think he's just going to spoil it. What we've done is took the executive decision. We've actually cut just on this corner, because this corner will perished anyway, but we've actually cut that rubber off where it lips over. And what we're going to do is going to masking tape all the way around here and we're going to bond the windscreen in. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say they did it on Porsche? It's yeah, Porsche. Porsche 993. So the 964 is like this. So you've got your rubber with the metal trimming that's a pain in the backside to do. And the reason it's a pain, where is a piece? Hang on a second, I'll just get a piece. So this is. Don't know if you can see the, the edge there. And you see how it's got a little barb on it there? Yeah, you can see that. Yep. Well, what happens is that rubber goes into, if I turn it over, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on this, um, we'll put it over here so it doesn't mark it. This is why we've took the decision to bond it because it is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Putting these screens in. Yeah. So the Audi 100 that we did, and we're doing one now, my Porsche 964, they all have the same idea. So you've got this metal trim. This metal trim, I, th I have gone over this before, but this metal trim pushes in like that and locks in place so that there's a, a tiny little uh, cut out in the rubber there and it goes in and locks in place. Problem is, if you don't get it, this has got to go in place, this metal, into the rubber and the glass like this in one piece before you put it in. And then you saw the trouble we had putting the quarter windows in. If you don't get it right and this pops out on the corners, you've got to start again. So, as you can see, it's easy, it's not too bad to bend that way. So you can get the folds, but it starts curving up on the corners. So that's quite difficult to get it in like that. And then also to get a bend to go that way for going over there is really difficult because as you can see, as you bend it, it starts kinking it. So what you've got to do, found this out the other night after numerous well, hours. You said two nights. Well, two nights to do the rear screen. I haven't done this screen yet. Oh, I, may, right. I may put a video of me doing it. 
watching snooker and doing it while we're doing it, honestly. So it would, you've got to put lo like loads of relief cuts in it. So it, with a grinder, so you can actually then bend it. But honestly, it's this, the rear screen was bad and it's, it's nowhere near as bad as it, the front screen. So I think what we're going to do now, we are going to, with a very sharp scalpel, scalpel take the back end of this rubber off and then we'll bond it in. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, then we're not putting any pressure on that trim either, are we? are not putting any pressure on the trim or on the, on the glass on fibre, the glass. because now with it being painted as well, we've only got to move it and it'll crack it. So I think that's the best way to do it. And at my age as well, you don't want to be clear. You don't want to be doing that, do you? <laughs> and it goes clack, and I go. <laughs> <laughs> so people say they li they like to see the cock ups we make. Yeah, that's not one cock up <laughs> I want to make because I will scream. Right, should we do this? I'll do this then now while I'm at it. I'm really terrified of this scalpel because it's so bloody sharp. Stanley knives, I'm not bothered about, but this thing I am. Oh, it's still cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that from experience. Passing, passing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it just needs pulling into this corner as well, here you see. Tape it down, aren't we? Yeah, we'll have to tape it down, but it still it still needs pulling in, but that looks that that looks, hard, it? That looks a hundred times better. Decision made, Ryan, Steve. Decision made. Works fine, does that? Yeah. Are you going to do it the same way back? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I may even take the take the. I was just going to say you're going to do it the same way. Might even take quarter panels, quarter glass out, and do them, redo them, because that. So the lights are going to look different, yeah. That looks, that's a beautiful finish, is that? Look at that, a lot better finish. So we'll get headlining material rather than... Than rubber. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it looks like on the inside. And Steve wants to uh, redo that as well, doesn't he? Yeah. That looks a lot, lot better, a lot neater. Because then we can just bond it in. It's like this corner. We can just pull the rubber up and stick that in place then. Mm. And then worry about the trim. Yeah, I like that, that's a lot better. Right, we'll take that out, put that back in the van. 
Um, we'll let Steve do it. Are you, right, you want to get on with... Right, you want to do the headlights? Want to get lights back in now. Yeah, we're going to do lights. So today we're going to do headlights, indicators, and I'm going to put the rear lights back in because I've got new, uh, new nuts and bolts for them. Yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, yeah. That needs trimming, doesn't it, for yeah. rails? But yeah. It's, uh, it's on all over there. Yep. Are you doing that in leather? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's the plan. That looks really good, like so, aren't they? Right, right, let's have a look from this side then. Give a look. It's looking looking more like a car now. Think about chopping sponge out though. Yeah. Thing is, at least with sponging, it's making it still got that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's just for the side bits. Looking good. Sides done. Speakers in. You just trim the back panel, aren't you? You said Ryan. Yeah. And then headlights and uh, the face is on. You got the um just turn the side lights on to see if they work we ain't got indicators have we yet yeah my knob wasn't available Ooh, they're bright yeah that's an led nice then the leds and they uh, like i said do indicators LED as well. LED headlights as well on the same yeah. colour. Yeah, we need to do LED headlights. Looking a lot better now, don't Oh, you could put hazards on. See if they'll work. Right, well, we'll get it from back. We have hazards. Is it like at front? Flashing away. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. <laughs> That's cool, is that? Mm. Yeah, when it gets my LED bulbs over. Well, it's all really we can do today, isn't it? Once they've done the other side, we can put this other put the speaker in. We'll speaker in. Put speakers in. Wires run for it, and then by the time we come back, carpeting will be done next week. And then we're gonna, I think we're gonna do the windows next week, aren't we? If you want. Yeah, don't give me that funny face. 
We need to do back of the grills black. Yeah, I think we want nicer. Yeah, and then we were going to do, we need to make up the vents, don't we? We need to get them done. But it's starting to look more and more car-like again now. Right, so uh, I think all it is really for us to say is, uh, well, can't do any more, can we, on it? So we're going to beat the Leeds rush hour. That's it. Hope you liked what you see. Fingers crossed. Uh, we shall have some more done next week. Carpet should be in a bit more trimming. And uh, yeah, it's uh, goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Brian. <laughs>